one of the exciting things about being a missionary in Zaire is to be able to, to see God's creation in many ways. In fact, we were very privileged to be able to have a lot of different animals and birds and things in our own house, in our own yard. In our backyard, we had a guava tree. It's like a little apple, and little bananas. And we had all kinds of uh, trees just right in our own backyard. One of the privileges we had also was we had a kind of white spot, little monkey. He little monkey with a white nose, and he kind of cute, but he was kind of messy. And so you kind of left him alone because he was always dirty. And so he wasn't a lot of fun. Uh, and he'd scratch at you, so he wasn't the best uh, pet. We had parrots and parakeets and lovebirds and all those kind of things. Uh, a parrot, uh, it was funny because the Africans would come to the door and they would um, shout, Hody, Hody, that means I'm here. And so guess what? The parrot um, mimicked that. He'd stand in the front room and go, Hody, and we'd go running to the front door thinking somebody was at the door. <laughs> and, and so it kind of drove us crazy there. We also had chimpanzees. In fact, we had three different chimpanzees. One of the chimpanzees that we had uh, was quite unique because he actually became part of the family. And we had to build a screened-in area for him around a tree so that he could play in the tree and uh, so that uh, at night he wouldn't run away. And it was always fun because he'd be okay in the yard, play with you and everything, but when you put him in there, he just hated that cage. And he'd start screaming, and the neighbors thought we were killing our kids because he'd start out and he'd go like this. He'd go, <laughs> like that, and uh, everybody'd come running and think we were killing somebody. And, and um, anyway, so we, uh, we tried to calm him down, calm him down, give him bananas and things, and try to make him happy. And this one day, uh, usually I'd go around the house, and, and then he was in the backyard, and it was lower than the house, and we'd go to the upper balcony, and you could look down on him. And, uh, and try to calm him down. But this day, as I walked all the way around to go up uh, to the next level, he was as quiet as could be. And I thought, what's going on? And I got up to the top and looked down on him. And uh, he had been watching, saw that I was gone. And so he reached his hand through the cage, and opened up the latch, opened the door, walked out, shut the door and latched it back up. Come walking up there, follow me up. <laughs> he had learned how to, just by watching how to get you know, out and, and so we had to buy a, a, a padlock and lock him in because he had learned how to get out of his cage. In fact, one day he got into the house, and in our back door is at the kitchen. And he got in the kitchen and got in there, and we had all these pots and pans. He was just throwing pots and pans and having a high old time. And so we had to uh, kind of uh, conquer him and uh, say no. He loved to ride on the back of my motorcycle. And uh, he'd climb up on there and hang on and just wave at everybody going through the village. And, and uh, it was fun, except the Africans don't like animals, per se, especially chimpanzees, and they'd start throwing rocks at us. And so I finally had to uh, make him stay at home because I was afraid they would hit me instead. Uh, and so he wasn't allowed to travel with us. Uh, one day it was funny because he was sitting out in the yard and Africans were making faces at him. And it was so funny because he was sitting there watching them and just staring at them. And then uh, and he turned his back on them and they kept trying to get his attention. Finally, he just turned around and went, <laughs> he stuck his tongue out. <laughs> and they all went running away. It was kind of fascinating to watch the uh, chimpanzee. And uh, he was quite a pet. His name, uh, incidentally, was Toby. And that's why I have Toby over here because Toby has become kind of a family name, a family pet of uh, the chimpanzee.